Bartlett Piccolo. I'm the National Sales Director and I've been with the group since 2015, so seven years. I'm Will Klein. I've been with the Macintosh group for seven years and I am the Global Training Manager. Yeah, so it was early in my tenure here at Macintosh that I uh, started visiting Larry and the gang here at uh, Paragon. Um, I was immediately struck by the shop, the overall layout of it, how much amazing gear. Um, there's a lot of manufacturers here that uh, you don't often see paired together. You know, they, they tend to have a little bit more, um, you know, kind of uh, controlled distribution. But with Paragon, there's really no manufacturer out there that wouldn't love to be represented by this company. So we see lots of some of the very, very best stuff in our industry. Unlike some shops where you know, there's sort of a barrier to get close to the equipment, listen to it, and uh, there's none of that here. You come in and it's very welcoming. The things that make Paragon stand out is the careful selection of gear that you can listen to. There's very few places where you can get really such a good mix of products to listen to that are comparable, but there's also just a wide range. So there's really something here for just about any musical palette, any listening situation. Yeah, for me, what makes Paragon stand out is probably the people. Uh, there are plenty of great dealers in the United States and North America that have a, uh, a world of knowledge, and there are plenty of great dealers that are very friendly and easy to talk to. It's fairly rare to have a dealer that is both very friendly and easy to talk to and has the wealth of knowledge that we have here at Paragon. It's very impressive. Uh, my favorite part about doing events in general is getting to interface one-on-one -on -one with customers to be able to really see how they listen to their music, what is important to them, what they're looking for in their products and their systems, and just how our industry has affected them and continues to affect their lives. Yeah, for me, doing these events and interfacing with the end users, it's one of the only chances you get to see the look on their faces when they actually experience something that they haven't they haven't heard or seen before, and that's really gratifying. It's easy for me. So for me, my favorite sound is fiber piece, and honestly, my favorite piece of gear in the entire industry is the Aida, our flagship speaker. The Aida. There are many products that I love. Uh, I would say the Aida is probably the only product that I'm in love with. <laughs> it's a very, very different experience. It's, um, it's something that just speaks directly to my soul. It's hard to, it's hard to describe. So my favorite Macintosh piece is probably the MC462 power amplifier. It's not nearly the most expensive thing, but it's the piece where you really get into uh, an amp that can drive just about any speaker ever made. And uh, it has all the best technology, and that's kind of the entry point for the best that Mac makes. I think it's the Lilliums. And yes, it's you know premium loudspeaker and more, uh, more expense than many people will ever think to go to, but it's not the by, by far not the most expensive thing that Sonos Faber has ever made. But in terms of what you get, um, they're just spectacular and uh, really are an amazing value. It's you know premium loudspeaker and more, uh, more expense than many people will ever think to go to, but it's not the, by, by far not the most expensive thing that Sonos Faber has ever made. But in terms of what you get, um, they're just spectacular and uh, really are an amazing value. Me, I have fallen in love with so many of the Macintosh products, but what really stands out for me is probably the MC901 amplifier. Um, I think it does a great job of showing the past of Macintosh and the present and uh, how those have culminated. Uh, to really bring us to a whole other level. And I think, you know, it being both a tube and a solid state amplifier, it's a solution that we've been trying to figure out for decades in this industry. And this is the first time that I've seen it actually done correctly. And it sounds amazing. 